Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be another makeup stash video. And in today's makeup stash, we will be going through all my blushes. I'll be sharing every single blush I have with you guys, um, going over my thoughts, and just basically showing you my blush collection. If you're not familiar with my makeup stash videos, it's basically where I pick a section out of my makeup collection and I go through it all with you guys. Um, so yeah, I've already done foundations, highlighters, bronzers, I'll link all of my makeup stashes down below if you guys want to check those out. I have two things to say before we start. First of all, I'm like just getting over being sick, so if I like sound kind of weird or like taking breaths all the time, that is why. Second of all, I'm so excited about this. Um, I finally made an Instagram account for you guys. Make sure to go follow that. Um, the username is Lavinia Rosanda. It'll be up on the screen somewhere and I'll also link it down below. But basically on there, I will be posting um, makeup pictures, makeup tutorials, and more kind of um, out there looks. I'll also be posting before I upload, so make sure to go follow me on there so you can just get like sneak peeks and just see more makeup like pictures and tutorials from me so yes the username again is Lavinia Rosanda and hopefully I'll see you over on Instagram so yeah I'll stop blabbering and let's just get right on into my blush collection okay so this is the drawer where I keep my like cheek products and this is the main container of blushes so I'll just take that out then I have a few lying around which I'll also pull out. So the first blushes I have are from Wet n Wild. I have one in their old formula slash packaging and one in their new formula slash packaging. The first one right here is in the shade Mellow Wine. This was one of my very first blushes. It's a really, really pretty plummy pink wine shade. And these are so pigmented. Look at this, guys. Like crazy pigmentation. Swatch that for you there. Um, and you need to be very careful with these because you need the littlest amount and it just looks beautiful on the cheeks. If you put on a lot initially, they're super easy to buff out and they're really, really good blushes. Their new formula I really, really do like. Um, I have this shade right here in Rose Champagne. My favorite wet and wild blush ever. Swatching it doesn't do it much justice. It just looks like a nude blush right here. But on the cheeks, if you're fair like me, this is the blush for you. It looks amazing on the cheeks, like most amazing, beautiful thing ever. This is probably my second favorite blush of all time, actually. I love the formula. And these blushes are also super long wearing. I know you can still get this shade just in the new formula. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend the Wet Moth blushes. They're super inexpensive and it's like they're... A uh, high-end formula. It's amazing. Next blush I have is from elf. This is just one of their single blushes And this is in the shade tickled pink as you can see I did hit pan on this and not because I love it so much. This is one of my this was one of the first blushes I had and um, Because it was this nude pinky sort of color. I used it like a ton um, now I haven't used it like in a hot minute just because I find it to be a little powdery, like this formula is just a little powdery for my liking. That's it right here. Again, one of those nudie peachy shades. Really pretty on the cheeks, it's just a little powdery and I have other blushes that I prefer over that one. Next, I have two blushes from LA Colors. Um, these I picked up at the Dollar Tree and I picked this one up for a full face dollar or video type thing. I did like it. It was fine. It was okay. It wasn't the best thing I ever tried, but um, it was just okay. But my major issue with these is I like big fluffy brushes for my blush, and this pan is just too small for me to get in there. Like I, I just find it weird for my brush to like fit in this pan. It's just kind of a weird thing. And the color payoff of these, like especially this one in the shade pink blush this has no pigment to it like literally like there is nothing there it's like this weird white sheen that appears on your face this one in toast shows up barely but like yeah i just would skip on these and go with um the wet and wild blushes honestly all right next i have my essence blushes um i have the full collection of the essence blushes all four shades so i'll just go through them quickly the first shade is number 10, Adorable, and this one is really, really, um, I think, 
targeted for fair skin because it's a really light pink color. I really like this. If you're really into your mobby light pink shades, this is a great one. And the formula on these Essence Silky Touch blushes are amazing. They have this nice sheen to them. There's no shimmer in them, just a nice sheen and gives your skin such a healthy, luminous glow. I really, really like them. And this shade right here is gorgeous. Really, really fair, but if you are fair, this is a beautiful blush. That's it right here. Next shade is number 20, Baby Doll. This is very similar to Adorable, just a little more like mauve. Um, less cool tone though. Yeah, this one's really pretty too. Just more pink. You can see the comparison of the two there. Next shade, I would say this is probably the one that medium to deep skin tones could wear out of all four of these shades. And this is in the shade 60 Life's a Cherry. This is like a bright coral shade. Oh my god, this is beautiful in the summer. If you're fair like me, use a really light hand with this because it is super pigmented. It's beautiful in the summer. Love this coral shade. That's it right there. And then the last shade in the collection is number 80 Autumn Peach. This is just a nice peachy shade. I really, really like this one. That's it right here. It's just a nice peach shade. I really love all four of these blushes. As I said, the formula is super creamy, easy to blend out, and they just give such a luminous, nice sheen to the cheeks. These are amazing formula. I highly recommend these Essence um, Silky Touch blushes. Again, if you're deeper in skin tone, get Life's a Cherry, the bright coral one. Uh, but if you're fair like me, I would go with any of the other three. Next, I have this Rimmel Match Perfection Blush. Now, this I don't like at all. Um, now, you might be thinking, if you don't like it, why'd you hit pan on it? Well, um, these two shades right here, as you can see, like, these are nothing. They look like chalk. Like, do you see that? And this pink shade is like chalk as well. Like, literally, these feel and look like chalk on the skin, on, like, your hand, whatever. These look like chalk in a pan. And I was trying to get some color out of this pink shade and I ended up hitting pan with first use because nothing would come out of this product. I'm happy they discontinued them because they're just really, really powdery and they look really chalky on the skin. Next I have a blush from Topshop. Now this I really do like. I'm so sad that Topshop discontinued their makeup line because I really wish I could have tried more of their products. But this is in the shade Dream Phone and it's just a nice berry shade. Really, really pretty for this time of year. I really like it. Um, these are super, super long wearing. As you can see, this is a nice berry shade. Super long wearing, looks beautiful on the cheeks. I really do like it. That's it right here. It's so, so pretty. I love this blush. Okay, I have this Makeup Geek blush pan. This is in the shade Bliss. If you saw Sunday's video, you would have seen this in my November BoxyCharm. I'll link that video down below. But this is the shade right here. It's just like a blush pan. It's a really nice light coral shade. I really like it. If you're really into nudes, this is so, so pretty. And I've tried it a few times already since I've gotten it. And it's so nice. That's it right here. It's so pigmented. Blends out beautifully. And it looks amazing on the cheeks. So I highly recommend these makeup blushes. Okay, I have this blush from Tarte. Now this has become one of my favorite blushes. I bought this in like a... Christmas gift set. It is a deluxe sample, but honestly, I don't even think I'm going to get the full size of this because I don't think I'm ever going to go through these. This is so, so pigmented. I have barely made a dent in it and I've been using it all month long. Like the, the design on top is still like looks brand new. So yeah, this is in the shade Unstoppable and this is such a pretty, pretty shade. Swatch that for you. It's the top one right there. Such a pretty shade. If you're into like really neutral blushes, this is so, so pretty. And these blushes, these Amazonian clay blushes from Tarte last hours and hours on the skin. I don't think I've ever used a more long lasting blush than this. Also from my BoxyCharm, this is technically a highlighter, but I keep it with my blushes because as you can see, it's more of a blush topper product. And I fell in love with this the second I put it on my skin. Um, it's so pretty guys swatching it again doesn't give it much justice it has these gold flecks in it So on the cheeks, it looks amazing And it's just really nice as a blush topper if you're or if you're deeper in skin tone. This is a really nice highlighter All right time for my favorite part 
my Milani blushes. Oh my god, yes, I do own all eight shades in the collection. I own the full collection of the Milani baked blushes. If you guys want to see a video mainly on these, focusing on these, a whole review, and maybe I'll do like cheek swatches like on different days and stuff, let me know. Um, but I'm just going to go through the shades and talk really quickly about the formula. First shade is Dolce Pink number one. It's a really nice pink shade. As you can see, all these blushes have a super nice sheen to them. And they make your cheeks just glow, like healthy glow. This is what I love about these blushes. You guys know how I love my dewy skin look. These blushes give me that, and they're amazing. So that's what this color looks like right there. That's it right here. Just a nice light pink shade. This next shade is Rose Day or number two. And this is more of a warm tone bronzy shade. Really pretty. I also like this one. That's it right here, the second one. Next shade is Berry Amore. This is more of a mauve. I love this one. I love all of them. I use all of them, honestly. The third one right there. Um, and then we have Luminoso, which Luminoso is my all-time favorite blush. This is the blush I always turn to when I want the like most glowy, like healthy skin look. This is beautiful super light and it's just like a nice nudie peach right here next we have the shade bellissimo bronze this is actually the blush i'm wearing today i love this one it's nice it's a nice warm tone bronzy blush i love using this just like an all over blush bronzer that's that right there next we have carolina this is just like a coral blush with a bunch of like gold flakes in it it right there and we have two more this is della so so pink number 10 i love this one as much as i love my warm tone nude shades i love my mauve bright pinks also and i love this one with cool tone eyes and a cool tone lip really really nice and the last one is probably a more towards um, deeper skin tone. When I use this, I use the lightest hand because it's so pigmented. This is Bella Rosa number 11. Look how pigmented that is, guys. Just let me swatch it for you. Look how pigmented that is. So if you're deeper in skin tone and have trouble finding a blush, this is beautiful because the formula is on point. So obviously, you guys could tell I love my Milani blushes. They're my favorite blush formula of all time. The baked formula just makes your cheeks look so healthy and gives such a nice glow to your cheeks. Um, if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, and I love the packaging too. The packaging is gorgeous on these. So highly recommend the Milani blushes. Right, I've got a City Color Glow Pro Blush Palette. This is their matte collection. I am pretty disappointed by this. I tried it a few times and on me it just goes really, really patchy. It's hard to blend these out in my opinion. If you apply a lot initially, it's really hard to buff them out. And I tried even using light hand, but they just look so, so patchy no matter how much I apply. So I'm not a fan of this little palette right here. I have all these blushes included in my Coastal Sense 70 Eyeshadow and Blush Combo Palette. I do have a review on this if you guys want to see that. But these are the blushes obviously up here. These used to be really, really um, loved by me. But as I started getting more and more blushes, I never used this anymore. I haven't used this in like months and months and months. Um, just because now I find them a little powdery and I just find it a little inconvenient to grab this whole palette just for a blush. And I have so many other blushes, I just reach for those instead. And the last blush I have is another like pan. This is by Mary Kay and this is in the shade Strawberry Cream. It's just like a nice pink blush. It is really nice. I just never, ever use it. That's it right here. So that's it for my blush collection, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram. Again, the username is Livinia Rosanda. I'll link it down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.